Hey guys, this is Big Nick here, and I am here giving you a surprise video. I'm um, sorry for la for missing the uh, review yesterday. Uh, I'm just not going to upload it because I prefer to upload it the day after the pay-per-view. But I'm here to give you the video that I sort of surprised with the video I did say I was going to give you last week, and that is the Blu-ray collection update. Uh, so yeah, this is everything I've collected since my last update, which I believe was at the beginning or the beginning of this year or the, towards the, sometime in the beginning, end of 2016, early 17. So it's been quite a while, I'd say about six months since it, I believe, about a few months, stay. Uh, yeah, so I got a good number of um, Blu-rays and DVDs to show you. I got a couple, a few DVDs, I got some wrestling stuff, a good number of movies and a good number of TV shows. So we're going to start off with the wrestling, go into the TV shows and end off with the movies. Okay, so and also continue to keep an eye out for the uh, collection, the Blu-ray collection, which is all over here, and the WWE stuff, which is all around here. So yeah, we're going to start off with the wrestling stuff. Let's begin, shall we? First off we have is a DVD, and that is the top 50 superstars of all time. Um, I know, I believe this one does have a three disc version, but I found the this one disc, the the one disc version uh, in the 788 bin at Walmart. So this was five dollars. The DVDs were five. The Blu-rays were 788. You know how it goes. It's a good little countdown thing to have of the 50 greatest superstars. Top 5 was kind of perplexing. I remember, the, oh, top 10 at least, yeah, it was kind of weird. The number and an order of who was on it, I f completely forgot the list, but I haven't watched it since I got this around April, maybe March. So yeah, it's an alright DVD just to have, for the, just the things to have for the collection. Next up we have is another is another DVD and it is a pay-per-view, the only pay-per-view, and that is a pay-per-view I thought was good from last year. I really stopped collecting the pay-per-views because the network and just watch them. I usually just go after the ones I liked. The next one I'm buying is WrestleMania 33. That'll be in the next update whenever I get it. It'll be the Steelbook version if I can find it. And that so this DVD is two, Survivor Series 2016, where of course it says Fantasy Warfare just got real, even though it got real 13 years ago. Uh, this is a all right pay per view, really good. I like the Survivor Series matchups. The women's one was all, was good. The tag team one was fine, and the main event one and the not the main event, well, the technically the ma the male one was really fun, good. Um, go of course Goldberg and Lesnar, the iconic uh, what was it one minute twenty five second match. So yeah, it's a good pay per view. I just wanted it really because it and it's a uh, the two disc version because that. <laughs> That Survivor Series match ran so long, I believe it. I believe this one's just Goldberg and Lesnar. I believe. I don't remember. I haven't watched this. Pretty much. I haven't watched it because I saw the whole preview already. So I just have it because it's nice to have and adds to my pay-per-views. So yeah, Survivor Series 2016, really good show. A good show. All right. Next up, and we have is a WWE Blu-ray. Yes, I have one. And it is one I've been wanting to get since it was released back in 2015. And it is probably one of my favorite ones, and that is NXT's Greatest Matches Volume 1. Sorry for that damn glare. Yep, this I love this Blu-ray. I love all the matches on here. Of course, you have NXT's Finest on here, the Four Horsewomen and Paige. You got uh, NXT, three, eh, three of NXT's Greatest Champions and Neville, Owens, Balor, of course, Big E, and Sammy. Really hoping to do a volume two to this. Cause I'm really looking forward to hope some stuff that'll be on it, like uh, Zayn Nakamura revival DIY stuff like that. Hope they'll be on there. Hope they release a second. So yeah, this is the first WWE Blu-ray Blu own. Got and it was got it off of Amazon. I was really happy to get this. This is the first one I wanted to get, and I'm gonna start getting some WWE Blu-rays like um, Undertaker's streak and other stuff like that. Just slowly over time. So yeah, NXT's greatest ones. Really good Blu-ray. Like this one. Yeah, that's it for the WWE stuff. Just three things. It's just three things. So next up, we're going to go right into the TV shows. Now, I got this lined up, this DVD, Blu-rays. So, because as you all know, I don't care for, to have TV shows just on Blu-ray. If it's on a DVD, I'll just get it. I don't care. You've seen it with Game of Thrones. I have Walking Dead. I have the three seasons on DVD. So, yeah, just going to go right into it. For, and I have this in the order of my my favorite one will be la my favorite last. And it's going to go up to my... Least. Well, not least favorite, but in order. I like all these. First up, we have a DVD, and that is of an anime. An anime I heard about, but I decided to give it... I haven't really watched it, so I bought season one on a whim. Watched it, and it was really good. I need to get season two, and I hope there's a season three coming. I believe it is. And that is 
the DVD, the first complete season of Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, this is a really good anime. It's pretty bloody, but it's really, really good. It's pretty much in a world, pretty much set in a world where humans live alongside these demons called ghouls that eat people. That's the only thing they can eat, so they have to feed on people. Usually, I believe it says a feet a ghoul can survive for months off of just one human. I think it says something like that, or a month. And the main character, he ends up, he's a the main character, him, ended up on a date with a ghoul. She was going to eat him, but an accident happened. She died. He was severely hurt. Some of her, her organs got planted into him, and he became a half ghoul, half human. I really don't want to get into anything and spoil anything for you guys in case you do want to watch it. I'm just saying. So it's really good anime. You should really give it a try. Just know it's very bloody. And I don't really care for all that blood script. It's just, it just makes it fun. So yeah, that is Tokyo Ghoul Season 1. Next we have up is a show I started watching in January on TNT. Because they replay it pretty much every damn day of the week except the weekends. And this was, and I didn't know all the seasons were on Blu-ray until I found it. And this one came from Best Buy. And that is the first season of many seasons of Supernatural. Season 1 on Blu-ray. I really do like Supernatural. I really never gave it a shot because it's just so many seasons. It's like, there's no point in me even trying. People, you could say the same thing with NCIS, but I didn't know it had that many seasons. I already knew ahead of time this thing it was going into like season 13, I think it's going into now. So, no. but yeah, it turned out I liked it. Uh, season 1 was really good, really dark setting in the beginning. Like the first few seasons, like seasons 1, 2, I think 5 are really like it's a dark tone, which really added to the show. Then it got a little lighter, but then I saw some of the other later seasons. It does look like it's added that dark tone back, which is actually really good. So, yeah, I if, I know some people probably have watched Supernatural. That means it's been around for about 13 years. So, yeah, give it a shot if you haven't seen it. it, it it's kind of worth it in a way, especially the beginning seasons. This one, I, this season I really liked, and I had, really wanted to get the first season. Because I didn't finish it all the way. I missed, like, the last, I think I missed, like, the first couple and, like, something in the middle. That's yeah, Supernatural Season 1. Next up we have is a DVD of a show that's so very, so really underrated in, in, in everybody's eyes. Everybody, people, I've seen people talk about it being so underrated, it's never talked about. Kind of like, kind of like Supernatural in a way, but Supernatural has more popularity because it's on PIX11 or CW. And so this, this next show is on Showtime and it finished at three seasons and this is its first season, which I found for $13, surprise me. And that is Penny Dreadful for Season 1 DVD. Uh, this is a really good show takes place I think 19th century London or in England so that adds to it. it's pretty much a kind of like a horror based style show you know you got vampires witches wol werewolves and stuff like that it's really good uh, I have to complete season three because I wasn't here last year to finish it but yeah I saw all the season one many times I've seen all season two really good show if you haven't seen Penny Dreadful I really recommend you watch it it's really good it's worth it you would not regret watching it Especially if you do like the vampire stuff and like that, not this Twilight vampire crap, but the real vampires, the horror ones. It's a really good show. Okay, next up we have is a comedy. This is a Blu-ray. I have se I have season four on DVD, and this is one of my favorite comedies, and that is The Big Bang Theory, the complete seventh season Blu-ray. Uh, this is, it, everybody knows this is one of the funniest shows ever. I mean, hell, it spawned it spawned its own spin-off, Sheldon or Young Sheldon, whatever it's called. It, it, this. This bastard got his own spinoff, pretty much. It's real funny. Uh, for me, Bing Bang Theory, my favorite seasons are seasons three and on. Seasons one and two are funny, but not as funny as season three on. Especially when, for me, really as funny when Penny and Leonard start getting together. Yeah, it's a really good season. It's a really good show. If you, I know you've seen, in some ways, for him, seen Big Bang, but if you haven't, watch it. It's real fun. You'll get a lot of laughs out of it. And don't worry, you're gonna hate. You're gonna hate him anyway. That's Big Bang Day. Next, we have a two seasons of one of my favorite comedies. This is seasons three and four of one of the all-time, probably one of the all-time greatest comedies ever. It launched the career of Will Smith, and that is the complete third season of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air and the complete fourth season of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. These are my two favorite seasons. Uh, seasons five is as well, but I don't have it yet. But yeah, these two. Are, Fresh Prince of Bel Air is one of the greatest comedies ever. One of the greatest shows of the '90s. One of the greatest comedies. Period. Just period. As you all know, it launched this man's career into acting and stuff. Because at the Fresh Prince, he was going to Men in Black and all that. It's a really great, it's a great show. I love Fresh Prince. I really didn't start watching it until I was about actually my first year of college. That kind of tells you the age I was in when I first watched it. 
Yeah, so it's a really good show. I love it. One of my all-time favorites. That's Fresh Prince seasons uh, three and four. Okay, next up we have is a Blu-ray of the. It's a season. It's a show. Of, uh, one of my favorite shows. I believe I've shown you season two in the past. Now this is season one on Blu-ray, and that is The Flash season one. Really love The Flash. I got season. I'm, my goal is to have these shows majority on Blu-ray of Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and yeah. The, Arrow, the whole Arrowverse, even though I do have season one of Arrow on DVD and season two of Flash on DVD, but pretty much the majority of it, I'm going to try and get Blu-ray. If I see DVDs that are cheaper, I'm going to get it. Yeah, really good. Sh probably what for a time took the mantle of Arrow as the best CW sh as the best Arrowverse show because Arrow had it for the first two seasons, and then the la then three and four lost it. Flash took over, and I think Arrow's kind of taking it back. So yeah, really good. Uh, we got really good show recommend watching The Flash, especially if you like comic, even if you don't like comic book stuff, watch it, you'll like it. So yeah, it's The Flash Season 1. So now we're going to continue to stay in the Arrowverse. This is Season 4 of my favorite one in the Arrowverse, The Flash is second, and that is Arrow Season 4 Blu-ray, as you all know, I've already showed you Seasons 2 and 1, but this is Season 4, one of the bad seasons, but I enjoyed Season 4. It wasn't the greatest thing, especially in my favorite Season 2. Just a, a masterpiece of a season, but this is a, a, a all all right season. Season three was pretty much bad, but this one was all right in my eyes. Season five was epic, which we will probably see in the next update. Season five when it comes out, but yeah, I really I do recommend Arrow. I do recommend Flash and Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and when it shows up, Black Lightning. Yeah, it's Arrow season four. My favorite one of the my favorite show of the Arrowverse is Arrow. And it's Flash, then Legends. I haven't seen Supergirl, so. Yeah, those are two of my favorite shows on TV today, especially. Next up, we have is a DVD of one of my favorite shows ever. Uh, I believe it's in my, if I recall, I believe it's in my top five TV shows. I've seen, I've shown you seasons three and four of it up in the past. And that is NCIS season, the complete second season. Uh, this is one of my favorite shows. I remember watching it late last year. Was it late? late? No, not late last year. Late 2015. I started watching this late 2015, going into 16. I've pretty much seen the complete show seri uh, series, except season 14, and pretty much a year's time just watching it on USA. Uh, I really love this show. This is the second season. Uh, this was a birthday gift. So, really great. I do recommend NCIS, especially if you do like shows like this. Even if you don't, it's kind of worth it in a way. I say a really enjoyable show. It has, I think I said in the past, it has a perfect blend of comedy, drama. Uh, some romance stuff and yeah, an action has a good uh, combination of all that stuff in this show. That's why it really makes it good, especially the comedy parts. Okay, next and the last but not least for the TV shows are two Blu-rays of my favorite anime. This is seasons five and eight of not just my favorite anime, but definitely the best anime ever. You can argue with that me, or you can argue with me all you want about it, but that is it is DBZ. We have seasons five and season eight. I've shown you in the past that I got season three. I had season six already. But this is season five and season eight. I now have the complete Cell Saga. Look, look at look at Cell. Meet our Cell. And it's season eight. The be, uh, I believe this was the be taking kind of the beginning of the Boo Saga. The greatest anime. The best anime ever, my opinion. Not well, not just my opinion. Everybody's a many people my cousin my friends all that this is the anime to watch It's the great best anime period stuff like tokyo ghoul are really good but they don't compare to this as dvz i do recommend if you don't like anime but i do recommend it anyway just watch it if you love great tv it's right here dragon ball z start from the beginning and watch dragon ball z not dragon ball z kai not dragon ball gt not dragon ball super even though super is fun no, you watch Z. No, you can you can watch Dragon Ball. I don't care. You can watch Dragon Ball, then go into Z, then go into GT, regret it, and then watch Super. So yeah, that is Dragon Ball Z, best anime hands down. My goal is this will probably be the first TV show I own everything of, and that's nine seasons, and I already have four. Hey, now we're gonna go right into the movies. I have a grand total of one. Uh, About 12 or 13 movies. I have one DVD, and that's because it, it is on Blu-ray, but I don't feel like spending, because it's in a metal pack with two other movies, and I don't spend, feel like spending about $30 for it. And I could I could just bought the one, because this one's the one I really wanted, and that is, well, it's an anime movie. 
and that is Pokemon 2000, The Power of One, my favorite of all the Pokemon movies, just because of that one on the cover, Lugia. This is my favorite one of all the Pokemon movies. I've shown you Pokemon Heroes in the past, but this one here takes takes the number one, The Throne. Many people will say, every pretty much everybody will say that the first original Pokemon movie, the, the, well, I don't remember its name, it was like the Pokemon the movie with Mewtwo. What is the best? No, this one's the best for me. Then it's Mewtwo, then the third one, and so on and so forth. But yeah, this is a really great movie. It's only about, what is it, about maybe an hour and 20 minutes, maybe. It's worth it, especially if you do like anime and you haven't seen it. If you're a Pokemon fan, if you really only watch the, the new stuff of Pokemon, you should watch this and see where Pokemon has come from. I'm sorry. So when it comes to that movie, I just get too much about it. I've seen this, so I think this is at all, everything I have here and everything I have over here and here, this I've seen the most out of everything. Hey, now we're going to go right into the Blu-rays. This first Blu-ray is an upgraded Blu-ray. I had it on DVD, so I upgraded it to Blu-ray, and that is Star Wars Smith, I, Robot. Uh, I really do like this movie. This is one of my favorite Will Smith movies. Not my favorite. My favorite is uh, Men in Black 2, then probably this one, then the first Men in Black, uh, then uh, Shark Tale. You know, yeah, I know he's not really in it, his voice or what, it's still his movie, but yeah, really do love this movie, one of my favorite science fiction movies, actually, really, it's a great movie, I recommend it, really great, and it's one of Will Smith's finest, that's iRobot, so yeah, I upgraded it from DVD, now we're gonna go into the stuff that I haven't upgraded, this is all brand new DVD, Blu-rays, first off, we have his star in Denzel Washington, and Flight, uh, I heard so many great things about it, I have yet to watch it, because I'm watching a whole bunch, pretty much the TV shows first, and I'm going into the movies, but I, really, but I really have heard a lot of good things about it. The tra I saw the trailer for it. It really looked great. It's white. Denzel, and Denzel always does a great role. Pretty much this one, this movie has me really want getting ready to see Sully. So if this one so if this one is as great as everyone said it is, I'm going to go right into Sully. Loving it then. It's flight. Almost the same kind of premise in a way. Just with two of the most iconic actors ever. Got Denzel and Sully has uh, Tom Hanks. And next up we have is a Marvel movie. I've yet to see this one too. Because I'm watching everything else first. And that is Marvel's Ant-Man. Uh, Marvel apparently has done it again. I wanted to watch this always. It's just an, I just haven't watched it yet. I found it at my right aid. I said I had, I had to grab it. I had to grab the thing. And it did It did come with the code. And it actually did work. So I had got free, point, got free movie, uh, the code, whatever it was for. I don't remember. And I and I like I do like this little black case it's in. It's kinda cool looking. Say so yeah, that is Ant Man. Next we have is a movie I have seen. It's part of a very it's part of one of the the best movie series out there, and that is Fast Five. Probably the best one. I have seen this one. I really do like it. Pro probably one of my favorite ones of the series. Of course this one did have Wonder Woman in it, Gal Gadot. And this is one of the, the second to and of course it has Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, R.I.P., and of course The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Pretty much you can sign and say The Rock is the one who resurrected the movie, is saved the movie series. So yeah, that is Fast Five, really good movie. I do recommend watching, if you really, if you don't want to watch the Fast and Furious movies, fine. But you can pick them out, one, you can pick one out, you can start with this one. That's Fast Five. Next we have is another one of, Will, uh, one, another Will Smith movie and Martin Lawrence. So you can probably know where I'm going with this. I know they have the two-pack of it, but I had found this and I forgot about the two-pack because I'm a dumbass. And that is Bad Boys, the first one. Uh, second one I, is my favorite of the two, but I do like Bad Boys. It's really fun. It's a really good movie. What you gonna do? Good movie. I, I do rec I do recommend the Bad Boys movies, especially I believe they are doing a third and maybe a fourth. So yeah, pick this up. Uh, pick up the uh, two-pack because you get to see the second one as well because that's the only way you can get the second one. And it, together, I think it's like ten dollars anyway. And this one I got from the seven eighty eight. Smart. Next up, you have is one of my f more favorite movies, my favorite rock movie. So I already know where it's going, and that is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. It's based off a true story, and that is Gridiron Gang. Great, great movie. Um, it's a very good football movie, but it's the great movie. It, but it does a great job telling the story of that of the this true story that it is I really forget of the corrections facility I think it is it's like a like a teen correction a young adult correction facility that turned into football to help save 
give those uh, kids a lot meaning in their lives with football. A really good movie. Rock was great in it. This is, pretty, my opinion, his his my bet his best movie, my favorite movie. Many people I can will agree with me on that. It's just a damn shame he's been inconsistent. Next up we have is a classic from my childhood, a classic from many people's childhoods, and it stars Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. So you already know where I'm going with this. Space Jam. Classic. Iconic. Don't give a damn what you say about it. Space Jam is the shit. One of the best movie. One of my favorite kid movies. Definitely one of my favorite basketball movies. Space Jam 2. That's supposed to be LeBron. Ain't topping this. Monstars. Next up we have is another Will Smith movie. So that's already the third one in this update. Damn. I mentioned it earlier, and this is the second one in that. This is the second one in that trilogy, and that is my favorite one, Men in Black 2. Damn, price thing all up on Tommy Lee Jones' fit. Hey, there you go, Tommy. Get him his lotion side. Men in Black 2. This one's my favorite one of the trilogy. It goes one, two, three. Three was good, as good as one and two for me. Many people say three was probably the best, but yeah, one of my favorite ones, and definitely one of the best. My favorite Will Smith movie. So yeah, that is Men in Black 2. Great. And you can see I got it for nine ninety nine. And it came with the and it came with the movie ticket too for two thousand for Men in Black three. And I bought this a couple few months ago. Okay, next up we have is an animated movie. It's an animated DC movie. Probably the best one out of all the DC animated. Even though I did see a Flashpoint Paradox, that was a really good movie. That was really good. And this one is Batman Under the Red Hood. I did love this movie. I did. Batman's my favorite superhero ever right here Damn it. Batman get get there you go so yeah that's Batman on the right really good movie I did like uh, John DiMaggio that's his name where is it yeah John DiMaggio as the Joker if you don't know him he is Bender from Futurama he did the he did the he played the Joker beautifully uh, Jensen Echoes as um, as uh, Jason Todd the Red Hood Jensen Echoes you've seen earlier in Supernatural yeah, really good movie I do recommend it, especially if you do like DC superhero stuff. You should really start watching the animated stuff. If you haven't, these are really good. This one, uh, Flashpoint Paradox, really good. Two, probably two of the best. So start with this one, Paradox, and then start going your way in. So now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Next up we have is one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's starring Jim Carrey. Definitely my favorite Jim Carrey movie. And that is The Mask. Great, great comedy. It's... My one of my favorite comedies, uh, prop definitely top five, maybe number one, probably it probably is number one. I have to look it over again, but yeah, definitely one of my favorites of all time. My favorite Jim Carrey movie. Many people will agree with that. Jim Carrey was great in this movie. He did everything beautifully. <laughs> the dance scene and the with Cameron Diaz. Enough said. Okay, next up we have is a new release. It came out last Tuesday. I have number one. This is number two. Probably my favorite Keanu Reeves role. Definitely the movie that saved his dance, that resurrected his career because he's kind of been floating around there, but definitely brought him back to A list status. And that is John Wick Chapter 2. I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting to see it. I'm probably going to end up watching it tomorrow. But it's, I already know it's going to be beautiful. I love the first one. I know I'm definitely going to love this one. It has, see, it has this little Rotten Tomatoes sticker thing. I really, really know it's going to be great. Really, I'm going to fall in love with it. I was when I heard there was a second one, I was kind of scared it wouldn't be as good as the first one. It turns out it may have been even better than the first. We'll see. John Wick Chapter Two. Recommend this regardless, even if I haven't seen. It, I do recommend the John Wick movies, especially if you're a Reeves fan. And now we are down to the last up, the last one, and this one is my favorite Disney movie of all time. It is one of the all-time classic Disney movies, and that is the Diamond Edition of The Lion King. I came in the mail, came in yesterday with John Wick. I got John Wick from Target. This one from, what do you call it, uh, Amazon. No, wait, I'm lying. I got them both from Amazon. Why did I say Target? I don't know. I got them both from Amazon. My favorite Disney movie ever. I go, this is the all time classic. The reason why I really had to pick it up because I know it's supposed to be remade next year, live action, so I had to get the original. It's my favorite. It's, there's not, there's not, there's not enough great things I can say about the Lion King Blu-ray. There's not enough, and this Diamond Edition I already do like. Just, I'm just, I just love this movie. It's my favorite Disney movie. So yeah, that is everything.
thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's been a while, but <laughs> I thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys again with my complete update, my complete collection of Blu-ray, WWE DVD. It's going to be WWE DVD first, then the complete Blu-ray collection, and then we're going to go back into the wrestling stuff with Great Balls of Fire, predictions, and review. Then going into SummerSlam takeovers and stuff. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again. Bye.